Hello, how you guys been? It's been a while. I'm out here in the bush, I got my Jeep with my gear, I got my canoe, we're about to start out on a solo overnight canoe trip. There's lake trout, there's brookies in there, let's go try and catch some. Been a minute since you see me on this angle, eh? <laughs> We're on our first real portage of the year. It's very muddy, and I'm loving it. Glad to be out. It's been a hot minute since I've been out on a real trip. We can discuss that later if you guys want to stick around and hear about it. But that is not the meaning of this video not the intent of this video. This is a canoe camping video. As soon as we get to the lake. It's a good one to break the legs in. Woo! And the old lungs and the heart. Jet lake with portage routes, for good fishing, hopefully. It's a nice day too, there's no bugs out right now. It's actually pretty cold, you can see how I'm dressed. It's supposed to rain, it rained all morning. It's about noon right now. I drove all morning to get here. But it's not raining now, so let's get a jump start, try and fish, get a good campsite, explore the area. I'll probably camp on this lake and then maybe do a couple portages with just the boat and the fishing gear to try to get to some other smaller lakes. This lake is good for lake trout and specks. The smaller lakes are good for specks. check around before you leave speak from experience <laughs> this rotted birch log will hold me right or ah. all right back in the saddle again Get from here Okay, I do got some waterproof bibs on, some good gloves, down jacket, I'm toasty. I got a, a toque at the, ready to be deployed as well. Oh, the wind, the wind is here.
starting to all show up on the aspens. Maples up in there. Actually, yeah, those are all maple up on that hill. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I'll take this over sunshine any day. I've got uh, Len Thompson silver and blue. Big, big old spoon trolling behind me. Hopefully I grab a, a laker like this. I'd be pretty happy with that. I just passed the first campsite. It was very close to where I came in on the lake. There's three campsites on this lake. I'll probably take the furthest one, assuming no one's there, which I would assume no one is. I didn't see any other cars in the parking lot. And it's not a nice day, middle of the week, so we'll see. Not a nice day by many standards. It's not a sunny, sunny buggy day. <laughs> oh, it feels good to be out here. Maybe we'll stop at the second campsite, get out, get some water. I got all that stuff in my backpack. I gotta get my water filter out, all that fun stuff. But, yeah. It does it really feel good to be out here. There's so many colors on the hills. Yellows, reds, greens, browns, whites. Fish on for sure. Let's not mess around too much here. I got a fish on though, for sure. Okay, what do I have? What do I have? What do I have? It's pulling. Oh, it's pulling. Woo! I'm excited. This is like half an hour into the trip. Oh, it's taking the rod. It's taking the rod. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's gotta be a decent laker. Man. I wanna set up the DSLR, but. I'm scared. Oh yeah, I can see it. See the white of its belly. Okay, come on. Oh, it's a decent laker. Okay, I'm pretty excited. Tired himself out. Oh, it's a big fish. It's a big old fish. Decent. Decent. I got him just right in the uh, right in the mouth. No damage done to him either. It's a toss up. Do I keep him or do I let him go? That would be a beautiful dinner. But it's half an hour in my trip. You know what? I am keeping him. Screw it. I'm going to keep that fish. We'll go get a campsite right off the hop. We can continue to fish after, but I don't want to let this guy go. That's a decent laker. I'm very happy with that. Very happy with that. Very happy with that. Okay, we're keeping this guy. This is definitely a keeper. I'm gonna dispatch him, get to a camp, set up. We can still fish all day. I don't need to keep any other fish after this. This is, this makes me happy. Beauty Laker. Thank you, Lake. Thank you half an hour into my trip. I think I see the second campsite right in front of us. There's something orange or red on the tree. It might just be a leaf. Can't really tell. Either way, we're gonna paddle towards it right now. See what we can make of it. The sky is getting pretty blue. There's still a bunch of overcast, but at least uh, at least the menacing clouds aren't aren't really around right now. Let's go see 
what this is. I don't. Oh yeah, it's gotta be excited. I think I see an orange blaze on the tree. We'll go. Uh, we'll go check it out. Have a little snack. Deal with this fish. Just kind of assess the map. Get our bearings a bit better. This is a pretty decent sight. Look how clear that water is. Nothing wrong with that. Man, I'm hungry. Hungry, hungry for lunch. It was a last minute decision to come here this morning. I hadn't got out to do a video in over like two weeks. I had planned on going to the fort today and revamping it because it's supposed to be rainy and I thought I would keep the black flies down. But I got up. It was raining and I'm like, man, especially the fish are biting. <laughs> what a good day to go on a little mini canoe trip. So I took me probably, from the time I decided I was coming to get here, probably about five hours with packing my stuff, getting the canoe on the car, driving a few hours to get here. And now I'm here. So it's very cool to be able to do that on the on the on the uh, on the fly, without too much um, planning or preparation. For those of you who don't know, I took my wife and we went to California for a week, and Buddy Kyle got married. I was able to stand in his wedding. It was a very nice thing to do. It was an honor for me to do it. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased that my wife and I were able to spend some, spend some time away from the family together in California. We went to San Francisco first, and we drove up to Sonoma. Beautiful, beautiful spot. San Francisco <laughs> was nice and not nice all at the same time, but overall very cool. Okay, so let's look at the map real quick, and I'll show you what the deal is, what I'm planning to do. So I drove in on this highway, up to this lake, Portage Inn, no, on this lake. Turn it this way, because this is the way we're heading. So, past that campsite, caught a fish probably right around here. Now I'm at this campsite here. So my plan is to either camp here where I'm at now probably not do that probably go down to the third one it's an island site so there might not be any good wood so I have to search along the shoreline for some wood which isn't too big of a deal but camp there set up camp there and paddle and portage into these smaller lakes and try and get into some brook trout fishing I don't have a lot of time I do I am coming out tomorrow so I don't want to get all the way down and camp in there we'll camp here or here Drop off all the gear where I'm camping, and that way I don't portage with it all for no reason. We do have to get a lot of firewood to cook this big old fish we caught, and uh, set up a tarp, and set up the tent, all that fun stuff, because it is supposed to rain all day. I hope it doesn't. Don't get me wrong, but it is supposed to. So, off to a good start. I'm very happy and very pleased and blessed to be out here. It's about time, eh? About time, Joe.
this is a number two. If you guys remember correctly, when Sean and I did the Woodland Caribou trip a couple years ago, I caught that massive 37 inch pike and a four lake trout on my Len Thompson Zero, which is a touch bigger than this. And it was all silver. I can't remember if I left it in the video or not, but I uh, was releasing or taking off the hook off of like the fourth lake trout and my fishing rod was uh, real the, the, the lure was all reeled up close probably just dangling off that far off the end of the fishing rod and it was a dangle off the, the edge of the uh, canoe while I dealt with the fish and uh, a lake trout jumped up and grabbed it out of the air and torpedoed my fishing rod into the bottom of the lake with <laughs> that was on the last day or second last day of that nine day flying trip that was a good trip a really good trip. We're just letting a lot of line out. I'm in this big open part of the lake right now. Kind of widens out right, right where I am. It's nice when you get a big old hit like that, like this big laker. Almost feels too good to be true. Like you got a snag, <clears throat> then you grab it, and it's, the tip is just bouncing all over the place. It's a good feeling. could stay like this all day and I would be extremely happy. It's June now. Second, third, I don't know, one of the two. Third maybe. And uh, yeah, I'm wearing, I'm wearing down. <laughs> Not complaining. It's dead calm right now. All I can hear is my paddle and birds. Man, it's peaceful out here. I see the third campsite, the final campsite across here. It is on an island. There's a couple little small groupings of islands together. And it seems to be right in the middle of it all, so... We'll go check it out. I guarantee there will be no firewood at all, but I do see some firewood along the shore here. We we'll, we'll, can go collect it. I got a saw and an axe, so it shouldn't be a big issue, or even a small one. I'm still trolling, but I haven't got anything since that first big guy. When I was uh, when I was at that last campsite, having a little bite to eat. Came back down to the water. I, I had I had cleaned up the fish and everything, got it all ready to transport, and uh, I come down and the seagull had it, and both the eyes are gone. And had started working on the meat on the in, inside of the belly, so <laughs> yeah, we're gonna cut that part out. No seagull mouth action on my meat. Birds have mouths, not beaks. See the size of that mouth on that bird? Man, that woodpecker has such a hard mouth. There's that system of islands right in front of us. I'm not sure if you can see it, but right in front of my paddle, there's a orange camp sign. But we're on our way there to check the site out. So I decided to paddle around the island before going up into it to check it out uh, for two reasons. I've been trolling and there's a couple islands here next to each other where it creates some kind of structure underneath some points so I figured ah, I might as well troll around these first and then another reason is to see if this is actually an island or if it's like a peninsula thing or if there's a bunch of marshy shallowy spots on one side or if it is an actual true island and if it is I feel a little bit safer about my food I'm not worried either way but it's nice to know. If you look on the shore here, you see all these like stumps that have been cut off, trees that have been cut off at the same height. I assume for firewood. I'm halfway around the island now, and it seems like it is a full legit island. I believe that uh, when I do venture off and try to get into another lake, it'll be out that way. <clears throat> but it's nice. It's nice over here.
Well, no luck fishing around the... Oh, man, look at that score of firewood right there. This is on that island that I'm going to camp on. Look, I got all these monster pieces. I could take one of those and probably be good all night. Bonus. That is not too shabby, guys. Just got a paddle to it. Not a big deal. Very close. Very accessible. Oh, this is shallow. This is shallow. People, use, people have been using limbs off this fallen log. For firewood. <coughs> Excuse me. This is some clear water. There's the campsite. It's very buggy. Very, very buggy. Let's go on up and check her out. Look at that seagull did. My eyes! Oh, this is decent. Spacious, good bench, little table, decent flat ground for a tent. Oh, look at that, a fish cleaning board. That's pretty cool. Little fish cleaning board table here. Alrighty. Yep, we'll call this place camp. There's enough firewood on the other side like I showed you. I'm not concerned at all, even if I have to get two of those trees. It's no big deal. Half an hour, hour of work. I'll have more than enough firewood. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm gonna tickle my throat. Oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nothing wrong with this. Okay, well, I'll head back down to the boat, grab our gear. It's actually not even that buggy up at the camp. It's a little breezy, sea breezy. You can see I've lost a little bit of meat on the inside. Again, Mr. Friendly Seagull helped me out. Anyways, plenty to go around. So I'm just going to throw this uh, piece of paracord through the gills. Tie her up and get her tossed out there. I might just, I'll probably just tie it to the back of my boat and um, get it out far enough and deep enough where. Seagull can't get it, I'm sure a snapping turtle could, but let's hope for the best. Excuse me. All right. Oh, I didn't tie. Look at that. There we go. Alright, 
That should be good. A little fish dank off of him. Go set up camp now. So at first glance, it looked like there was lots of nice and flat spots, but in reality, this little thin area is the flattest spot going. And that's okay because I do have my solo tent, just a one man glorified bivy basically. It's all I need of all, it's all I've ever used for years. You guys know it's the Big Agnes Fly Creek UL1. Great tent. Let's get her all set up. All right, the hatches are battened all down. Got this thing taut, tied right out in anticipation for rain. Also, in the anticipation for rain, we're going to set up this tarp. Brought it with me, we're going to do it. Still Nylon 10x10 Bushcraft Outfitters tarp. We're going to hang it up right here. This tree, this tree. String it up above the fire pit, and that way we'll be pretty, pretty safe regardless. So that means I'm climbing this tree a bit. I still got these waders on with the straps hanging down. Do here to there. That big tree, probably. Yes, that's what I will do. Table will hold me right. Frig off. It's not for you. Take off, hose head. Where is my fish anyway? Yeah, it's over there still. By the boat. Get out of here. Kaka. Kaka. Okay, looking pretty good. Now I just gotta tie these pieces off. There's plenty of tie outs, shouldn't be an issue. Line hooch. Look at that. That was a perfect fit right there. That one could go to that tree. We'll get the longest piece here. Piece. Longest piece for this one. Because it seems like this will be the biggest stretch. Might even have to get the the fish cord <laughs> to add on to it. Oh, 
This might work. Yeah, I hear you out there. Oh, you're taunting me. Stay away from my fish. Baka. Baka. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. This is not conventional. But it works. Look at that. Bam, son. All right, I've got everything cleaned up around camp. I'm just gonna tie up my food and then go get that firewood. It is getting later on in the day. So I gotta get my priorities all taken care of. Shelter and all that is good. Just need firewood. For those of you who don't know, this is a Kevlar bear bag. I do not need to tie it up in a tree. Tie it down low. It's good for now. All right. I've got Boreal saw, a small Wetterling's axe, a pair of gloves. These are Hestra um, Lars Fault or Fault Guide gloves. I like them. All right, let's go. Let's go get some firewood. Oh, you know what? Let's do up the backpack before we go. That way, if it rains, all of our stuff won't get wet. Using the old noggin. Oh, they called for reinforcements. Starting to outnumber me. Baka! Baka! Nope. Pretty scenery out here. Lots of color. There they are. The towering beauties. It's, it's a surprise to me that there's everything is cut down except for like these three or four here. But it's alright. I will use them. Yeah, even all around them. Been all cut. Very strange. Maybe they thought they were too thick around. Perfect. What's good for the goose? Nope, that doesn't. One man's trash? Yeah. Yeah, this is the one right here. sense in cutting it up in small pieces because then I'll just have to carry all the different pieces up to camp. I'll try to cut it in two or three, maybe even four pieces manageable enough to get in my canoe.
weird noise to make. I'll save the twigs too as much as I can. Good fire starter. Kindling. Uh, take that too while I'm at it. So since it is cedar, it's going to burn rather quickly. But the size that I do have here in diameter is pretty awesome. I can take another chunk of this other piece here. Not a problem. Just trying to balance it on my shoulder. That way it's easier to walk with than trying to fight with it. balance it as much as possible. To hurt you. Why do you always make me hurt you? Got a decent amount of wood there. I got enough twigs already. Don't need to keep those. That's the hall. Not too shabby. And I switched the Mr. Fishy Poo to the front. I'll just put them right there to smell up the whole thing that white he's not turning bad that's where the the gull was pecking at him from the inside he's still good we're gonna eat him can you see the wood you can't even see the wood that shots there we go that's the shot i'm looking for look at my wood such a collection of woods i'm telling you those seagulls have it out for me Well, we'll drop this wood back off at camp. Gotta figure out something to do with this fish because, oh wow, it's 20 after four. The um, the portages into the other lakes are like 400 meters and stuff, which is no big deal, especially without my gear, but I'm not portaging this fish for no reason. But I also can't just leave it in the water near my camp because the silly seagulls are gonna get to it. I have to figure out how to get it down deep and then how to be able to retrieve it, like with a long piece of paracord that floats. I have to think of something. Anyway, we're almost back at the camp here. Let me think. I'll get back with you. Does war cry? Don't act all cute on that rock, bro. We both know. Yeah. We both know what you're here for. Jerk. Jerk face gull. That's the, it's not a ring neck gull, it's a jerk face gull. It's a, uh, Latin, Latin is um, jerk faceus gallimimus. Galla, 
Kill him, Amos. You ain't getting none of my fish, bro. Kaka, kaka. Yep. Yep. Oh, you can't even see. I'm just talking to nothing. Kaka. Take off. Take off, hose head. See how it is? Standing his ground. Well, I'm pretty pleased with this. I, I got an idea of what to do with my fish, but I got two really nice fillets off that lake trout. That's a bunch of meat for me. It's gonna fill me right up tonight. I'm gonna cook it on a grill. I got some Bam Sun seasoning. It'll be great. I had an old jerky pack that I had a few pieces left uh, today that I brought. And these are just gonna go right in there. Hopefully they're fit. That's a lot of meat. That's a lot of meat. And we'll put this in the water. Uh, we'll tie it off and everything. Maybe hide it under a rock or something like that. Reminiscent of my 10 day trip. Okay, that's a hefty amount of meat. I'm very happy with that. And you know what? I've had a change of heart. I'm gonna paddle out to a rock and help my seagull friends out with the remainder. There's still quite a bit of meat and uh, bones and fish brains and all sorts of good goodness. Um, throw that in the water for now. Anyways, we'll go put that on a rock when we go paddle to uh, to another lake there. It's almost supper time. I, I don't have too much time, but I do want to get out and paddle and fish. Man, it's a lot of meat. It's a hefty amount of meat. I ended up using that cutting that fish cleaning board. So we'll clean it off here in the water. Oh, there's a weir here. Someone built a weir. It must, it must have been for beer because those seagulls, man. <laughs> I got this for you now. I've had a change of ways. Let's see if I can huck it up on top here because I can't reach. Oh, maybe I can reach. Hucking it would be much funner. covered in fish tank. I imagine when I come back that will be gone. I hope so. All right we're gonna go paddle over to the first portage and try and get into a brook trout lake, catch a brook here or so before dinner. So you're welcome. Just rude, rude gulls. Very comfortable. I had to unzip this a bit. I'm just trolling real slow through here. I'm coming up to the portage, I'm sure. But this is very tight in here. Looks really north. Pine and spruce, cedar, birch. This seems like the calm before the storm. Black flies buzzing off my head, but they're not biting at all, and they're very minimal. 
I'm telling you, man, this is... I love this weather. Just trolling. Tiny little finch. Finch-like bird. Just kind of following me on the shore. Some beaver lodge up here. There's so much. There's so much going on. into that second lake now. There's a problem. She's shallow as the deep water. You can see me hitting the bottom there. Right there. And this is just a small lake and it goes I'm heading right now to an 800 meter portal. I just did a 450 or a 490 uh, into this one and I was expecting this to be a lake like the other one that I just came from, but it's not. It's a sand bottom. It's very shallow. I'm going past brush as we speak. And I'm wasting valuable fishing time because it's 5.30 now. It's, um, I can't believe it's not raining. It seems to be the perfect time for fishing. Uh, I have to make a call whether or not I want to portage 800 meters into the next lake and see. It might be like this. On the map, it's just a bit bigger than this lake, so who knows? It might be, might be the same thing. It might be a sand bottom. I have no way of knowing. I'm headed that way right now towards the portage just to see if the lake does um, get deeper as I go that way. But it's not looking like it. Uh, a little bit, maybe another foot deeper, right there. It's just as well I get back to that lake. My battery on my GoPro is all but dead and the battery on this one is flashing red so she's almost done. Um, anyways, we'll portage back over, go to the site, get some batteries and then head out for fishing. I am really hungry but I think that I can just snack a little bit until later on when I'm until it's actually dark and then I can no no it gets dark at like nine nine thirty I don't know what to do I want to fish more but I'm really hungry too I'll contemplate this on the way back okay I'm gonna let this play out like I said it's on red right now I'll let this play out and die out so if it just cuts out that's why but um Yeah. The reason I haven't been camping so much lately, other than the fact that I went to California with the wife, and really the reason why I haven't been doing what I love to do, which is canoe tripping, multi-day canoe tripping, is because my medical issues on my derriere, I can't be away from a shower or a bath and my medicine and stuff like that, and, and a decent like soak and relax in the morning without being absolutely in pain for the rest of the day, like unfathomable, like can't can't function type thing. So I can't go, and I've said this before, but I'm just trying to clear, th clear things up. Everybody's been asking where I am. Um, I can't go on multi-day trips because I can't keep going to the bathroom in the, in the woods without a shower or a bath. It's just the truth and it sucks and it might be funny, but it's not to me, it's my life. And I've been going through this since December now. It was my fault I brought it on, but I've changed my ways, haven't drank, haven't been eating bad, um, and it's just not going away. Went to see a doctor in the 
States and been paying ridiculous money to go see him. And now I have, <coughs> excuse me, a colonoscopy scheduled for the 18th of this month over there, which is um, hopefully they're going to find something. Every time I've had them twice before, <coughs> excuse me, and both times come back with just IBS. So no, nothing's wrong with you. So we're going to diagnose you with IBS. Anyways, and, and the reason I'm going over there is because it just takes a ridiculous amount of time over here. I, I booked an appointment four months ago and finally got in in Canada. I called one day and got in the same day over in the States and he's more willing to do more things. So anyways, we'll see how it goes. I might, I might not be able to do multi-day trips. I don't know for how long and hopefully the surgery can fix it, but then there's a risk of unwanted things with the surgery and we have to weigh the pros and cons with that. So who knows? Um, this is just reality. Like, so I, I went to, the thing is, it's not, it's not debilitating. Like I'm out here, I feel fine. I feel totally fine right now. The problem is everybody poops. You have to eat and then you poop. And what everyone takes it for advantage is is hell for me every single day it's uh, my, my life revolves around it. if I have to go to the bathroom for a second time in the day then um, then then my life then my day is ruined I have to just kind of lay in bed but <clears throat> anyways and I've been dealing with this for like on and off for like half my life like 15 years at least I'm 30 I just turned 35 I want to say like around 15 years there's other things wrong. I'm, I'm losing weight. I can't gain weight for life of me. I'm very, very lethargic lately. There's something going on. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it is. I really hope this doctor in the states can figure it out. But like, I feel great out here. That first portage kicked my butt. I, I tried to single carry it. I had to end up taking the uh, the backpack off for a little bit halfway. It was only 450 meters. But. I really, 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 what I love to do, like, it's very important to me that I go canoe tripping. Like, that's, that's my, my love. That's my passion. More than building shelters in the woods, more than backpacking, more than doing anything. This is like being by myself out in the woods, being with friends out in the woods. It's, it, it's, it's great. But canoe tripping in general is something I need to do for myself <clears throat> and I can't do it and one night is not it like you know what I mean I'll, I'll go home tomorrow I'll either not go to the bathroom here and hold it until I get home or I'll go to the bathroom here and be in agony until I get home um, but at least at home I can fix myself up and I'm only in agony for half the day again this is my life this is what I deal with every single day it's caused from a stomach problem and it works its way down and we need to figure out what's wrong with the stomach and all through in there i'd like to be healthy you know what i mean i've been doing a lot of fun things for the past few years and i moved up to this house in order to be able to do these things even more so now and now i'm laid up you know what i mean for the most part anyways this is not a pity party i'm just explaining just just explaining all right i'm at the portage i'm gonna do this i'll meet you over back at campsite back at campsite well, oh, that's it. No thank you. No nothing. It's gone. We're gonna crash. better well I just wolfed down the granola uh, cliff bar 
and like it's almost seven o'clock. So the thing is, I have to make supper. I'm starving. Hopefully I can get this done by like almost eight. I still have light to go out and fish, but shouldn't take too long. Glorious sun has come out, gracing us with his presence. There we go. Okay, well, no one to stop, I guess. No one to stop. And nothing else for you. The cedar is very nice to work with. It's not making the best curls for me right now, to be honest with you, like the tightest ones, but they'll work just fine. So easily it just cuts right through. Look at that, I can take actual like kindling pieces off with no effort. That's helpful. Yeah, not the greatest. Not the greatest at all, actually, but that's all right. There they are. Decent. Something decent, at least. Me. Okay, that's probably enough of that. So we've got some thin kindling pieces, split this down a little bit more. We've got, uh, I didn't end up actually keeping those, those kindling pieces from the, uh, from the tree we took down. 
think I left them there. So we'll just split this down a little bit more so that we have plenty of small stuff. So it has no problem starting. Give it all the chance we can. And then we're not running around trying to put sticks on after and worry about it after. We got all the prep done now. And then by the time it's uh, time to start the fire, it will go smoothly. Okay, that's enough of that. Right through a knot, that's pretty good. Okie doke, how to start this fire. One stick in it. I'm using my old cannon today. I'm not used to the way it, the direction it focuses. The Nikon was, the batteries were all dead and it's taking too long to, to uh, charge them before I left. I only got two cannon batteries as it is because of that same reason. <laughs> Unprepared Joe. Ah! Cop that. or in normal people terms, new merchandise in the store. Check out the link. Hold it. That's just one of the fillets. Let's get some bam sun spice on there. That should be good. All right. Let's go get this next to fire. All right. So looks good there. Now, I was going to prop it up with a, another uh, stone, but bam, son, I don't have to do anything. I like the looks of that. Ray mirrors eat your heart out. <laughs> Fresh caught lake trout on cedar, some bam sun, right next to the fire. Don't get much nicer than that. 
Okay. Not gonna lie, it was a little bit of work. What's she done? She looks good. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that fish boy. So I only cooked half of it. I cooked the other half later on. It's already 7.45 and I want to get out and fish. So cleaned up this board already. Let's dig in. Cheers. Mm. Very meaty. Very meaty. That Joe Robin at Bam Sun Spice goes really well on it. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I gotta show a close up of this. Oh, it's so tasty. Normally I take that stuff off, but whatever. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Phenomenal. Well worth the wait. Super happy I got this guy. Starting to be concerned that this might be the only fish I catch on this trip, but even if that's the case, I'm okay with that because this was a beauty fish. Mm. So juicy. Cheers. Ah. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of meat. This plus the other one. Be plenty. So I didn't bring Tripper. I thought it was going to rain all day. He's doing well. One year is up again. So that's good news. Oh man. So good. If I would have brought him. You can bet he would have been all over this, chasing the seagulls away. <laughs> the seagulls wouldn't have got that those scraps. That would have all been tripper. So we left him. My mom and her husband came up to watch the kids and tripper, and uh, yeah, he did pretty well with them, as far as I know. He, when I came back, he was used to them, which is good. He's uh he's used to the dog next door now too. He's doing really well. I'm very very pleased. I was a little a little worried at one point. He was very scared. Very scared of people and dogs. Oh man. Like smorgasbord here. That spice goes a long way. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm done eating this. I'm gonna clean up. Get out on the lake. Mm. Only one bone. Only one bone in there. I think I can pick a little bit more of this actually. A little bit off of the, a little bit more off of this. Which is just a little bit. Just a little touch. Fatty. Ooh, that was fatty down there by the belly. Oh, fishy and fatty. Shouldn't have done that. Alright, let's get out. Let's get out. Well, sure am glad that I kept that fish. Been paddling around, fishing, mixing things up. Nothing, not even a bite. 
one fish splashed near, near my boat. But no go. I've been trolling, I've been casting. all the way back down at the other end of the lake now. It's uh it's 8 30. So I believe I have till about nine o'clock until it's dark. But it's not like I'm gonna get a sunset I don't think anyway with all these clouds. Just complete cloud cover. Say that three times fast. You're doing it right now. You're doing it right now. So what you're seeing is pretty accurate as far as light, pretty close to what I'm seeing. It's 9.30 on the button. It's a crazy amount of light. The sky is a touch pink, way, way back. I was paddling on the left side of the lake. I was paddling across over to my island here. And I got a bite or a snag and it ripped the, the uh, lure clean off. It came back with a frayed line. So I don't think it was a snag because I'm in the middle. But lure's gone. No fish to show. <laughs> One fish, Joe. serenaded and just had a little bite I think it was a brookie it's been a while since I heard those guys Some on the lake behind my house, but it doesn't echo like that. It's not the full wilderness loon. <laughs> Very peaceful.
Well, it's too late to cook up that. It's too late to cook up that trout now, the other piece of it. I'm gonna bring it home for scout. For a trupper. Snacking on some almonds. I'm gonna go to bed soon, but figured I'd sit by the fire for a while. It's still, I can still see the sky. It's not even black yet at all. 10:20. Anyway, lots of sparks right now. I'm just looking at my tarp. nice place I normally hate <coughs> excuse me I normally hate island campsites but this is a very nice site super easy to find wood nice flat spot oh and up I went up near the bathroom and there's a bigger spot bigger flat spot for tents you can fit probably two more tents over there uh, before the bathroom, not, not in front of it. And by bathroom, I mean wooden box with a hole in it. Yeah. Really happy I came. I was prepared for rain. I'm telling you, I drove here three hours at least to drive here, and it was pouring rain most of the time. As I got here, as I got closer, it piddled, petered off, and then, yeah, man, just perfect weather. I'm so glad I came out. It just goes to show you, like, you never know what's going to happen. I'm glad I took the initiative to come out today, regardless. I was feeling really good today, and I wanted to get out, and uh, I'm glad I decided to come here instead of go to the fort. I will get back to that. I got people asking me about that, too. I will get back to that. It's never, I never planned on doing it this this time of year anyway like I'll get to it it's not a big deal it has to be completely revamped there's obviously no snow anymore yeah we'll get there I'm, I'm anxious to see what it looks like too don't get me wrong I prefer to do this type of stuff this is my favorite type of stuff to do the only thing that beats this is doing it in this for like seven days straight, moving, going on a journey. But I'll take this. I'm happy with this. I'm extremely happy with this. One Fish Joe. Where do you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? One Fish Joe. It's finally dark out. When I go to bed, got my bed all made up in there. My it's probably like a negative two degree Celsius bag and a sleeping pad. There you are. These gators I've been wearing all day have booties attached to them, like Gore-Tex socks. So they're all one piece. Pretty durable. I actually really like them. I did, my boots got wet. I'm just stepping in and out of the water and stuff. My feet stay dry. I imagine these would, would excel in very, very wet, rainy spring canoe tripping stuff. Yep, I'm tired. Well, I seem to have lost the uh, windscreen from my microphone somewhere. Uh, I'm hoping it's in here. Anyway, all tucked in. It's time for bed. I'm um, very nice and warm. Fire's going on outside there. Everything's right in the world. I got a nice flat spot, so very good. I'll be with you guys in the morning. Good night. Can you hear that?
The rain has started. So I need to uh I need to do up my fly here. My rain fly. I'm new to camping. It's all new to me now. What's even happening? Good morning. How are you doing? I had a great night's sleep. It is 7:12 in the morning. Bright skies. My tarp's full of uh, rain from last night. It's not too cold. No bugs yet. This is a good morning. This is a very good morning. I'm gonna get up and make some breakfast. Oh man, what a good sleep. Better than I've had at home for a while. This is the first camp out that I've been on probably since last fall where it's enjoyable to get up <laughs> and my boots aren't frozen and I'm not running around yelling hands too cold, hands too cold. So that's a good thing. Really making progress. If I can get my boots on. Yeah, other than like the literally six times I had to get up to go pee last night, I slept like a champion. And as soon as I would get back into bed after peeing, I would uh, I'd fall right back to sleep. So it was no no big deal. Oh, I don't think I moved much. My arm is a little kinked from sleeping on it. I don't have a far paddle or portage to get out. I've got maybe half an hour, 45 minute paddle, and then that almost 500 meter portage, 450. So, no big deal. I do have a doctor's appointment today I gotta make at three, but I should definitely be able to make that. No problem. Up and at them. Oh, oh beauty, son. Would you look at that. Tent held up great. I got no, no rain through, no wetness through. I left that cutting board down here last night. Put it away now. Beauty. Beauty morning. So not much left. We got a fire going. Probably don't need to use this twig stove. Or whatever, we'll see. We'll see what I do. I got some crappy oatmeal, some good oatmeal, some tea for the morning. That's basically it. I did bring um, spaghetti in case I didn't catch fish. But we'll throw some almonds in that today maybe too. And that's it for my food, other than that dried fruit. two pieces should be plenty and then in re all reality I have this guy and 
this big guy that are still really good firewood that I can cut up and leave here for people stacked, maybe under the table or something. Something to keep it dry. See if I can tap split this on the rock. Be sketchy. Ba bam. I knocked most of that down on to me when I was walking by. Let's get from the other side here. Okay, well not as much as I had thought and there's lots of sediment. So let's just get it from the lake, you know? Sometimes it's nice and easy to use a pre-provided grill. There we go. Or just provided, maybe not pre-provided. Provided. Grill interrupted. Grill provided. It's too early, Joe. I'm gonna take this tarp down. Started making the my oatmeal in the lid of my pot. That way I can add the exact amount of um, water that I need. So I'm not getting soupy Joe oatmeal, soupy Joe meal. Although this probably is pushing the limits of the lid for capacity. We're gonna throw in a couple almonds. Just, you know, live a little bit, right? No M&M peanuts for this morning. I devoured those yesterday. Or peanut M&Ms. What have you. Okay, well, that might be a lot for that little lid. We'll see. Got a feeling soothed peppermint ginger and fennel tea. I'm gonna have with breakfast. 
nice and manly. I quickly mentioned this cup yesterday in my shirt. Check it out, it's a um, hot or cold cup. Has a lid, it's metal. It says Bam Sun, Bam Sun, Bam Sun. Anyways, it's kind of nice to have a little lid for travel, a little coffee mug, tea mug in my case. Anyway, we'll let that steep. And you know what? Because there's only a tiny bit of water left and this seems like it's very full, maybe we'll scoop this back into the old pot and give it enough room to fluff up, as much room to fluff up as it can. There we go. That's a little bit better in there. So I've been I've been making it in my lid lately. <laughs> All right. Yeah, clean fingers. Oh, that looks a little lopsided. Mmm. You can taste the peppermint over everything. Over the fennel. All right, it's not sloppy. As you can see. The hot water turns the almonds into this very strange texture. That's hot. That's hot. beauty morning. Just taking my time paddling. Trolling behind me. I got that big Len Thompson on again. The one that I caught the Laker with yesterday. <clears throat> I can't believe I didn't get... Well, I can. I can very much believe that I didn't get anything after the Laker. But I'm okay with that. I'm so very happy that I kept that Lake Trout. You heard me on video say, like, Oh, maybe I'll let this one go just because it was very big and it was um, right at the beginning of the trip. But I'm glad I kept it. Very good eating. Alright, well I'm just going to continue to uh, patrol and paddle on out of here and I'll get back with you either when I get a fish or when I get to the portage. Well, we're done. That was a good little trip. I'm very, very happy I did it. Nice to come to a new spot. I've never been here before. Nice to explore. And you know what? There is a canoe trip waiting to happen right off of this lake through those couple portages and then I can go for days. So that's something to work up to again. We'll see. We'll see what the colonoscopy says. We'll see if they have to get surgery or not. I'm very excited about that. So, 
We shall see. Old Joe's not done yet. There's lots more adventures in the books. Even if I have to modify them for a little bit. I'm hoping at the very ow, at the very least, at the, at the worst case scenario, that I'm able to do a, a legit canoe trip by the fall. And if that's the case, I'm all right with that. I will still do videos. I'll go to the fort, I'll build up the fort some, I'll do some tripper training videos, I'll do some overnight stuff, some day stuff, just normal stuff. It'll keep going on the same. Just with the exception of multi-day canoe tripping for now. Just for now, I promise. That's what I'm working towards. Getting healthy, being able to do what I love and what you guys want to see, hopefully. In the meantime, like I said, been busy with California. Not only that, I feel guilty leaving the dog at home. And I can't always bring him on things. I feel guilty um, not spending time with him and training and stuff. So right now there's a lot going on in my life. But this is just this is just right now. Sure you guys can understand that pretty straightforward and I am very blessed to have such a good audience such a good core subscriber base you guys allow me to take a little hiatus here and there but you know I have been doing this for like 11 years now right so it's like things come up Things come up in life. It's not always good. But there's a lesson to be learned, definitely, and I'm focusing on the lesson to be learned, not on the woe is me, I can't do what I want type thing. So that's good. That's something, right? We're all growing up, all getting wiser. Still not got my canoe racks on my truck, that's why I'm using the wife's Jeep right now. But it's nice, she's got satellite radio in hers. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm just going to strap the canoe to the top. And drive on out of here. Thank you very much for watching. Bam Sun shirts and steel mugs that thing kept that tea hot forever uh, are available now on bunker branding some brand new stuff there and uh, we'll have some some cooking pots ready to go soon as well some titanium cooking pots with my logo on them so check out bunker branding and under influencers check out my name if you're interested support the channel that way get some cool merchandise i really appreciate it you guys have a great day thank you for coming along i really enjoyed this time and we'll be out again soon with the dog. Thank you. Thank you a lot.